Hey everyone, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to transfer photos from your phone to the computer. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or an Android, I will walk you through it and teach you how to do it. So let's jump into it. Okay, the first method to import photos from your cell phone to your computer is by plugging a USB cable into your phone. Once you connect the cable to your phone, you have to select what to do with the connection. So in my phone, I have to choose the Android system and choose to see the options. In the options, I have to choose file transfer. Once we selected file transfer, we can now see inside of our phone. Then the photos are usually inside this folder named DCIM and inside the camera. So these are the photos I have in my cell phone. So once you are here, all you have to do is select the ones you want to copy and copy them into your computer. If you want to select all of them, well, you just have to select all and click on copy and paste it wherever you want. So I'm just gonna click this one from last weekend in uh, stadium and click on copy and I'm gonna paste it on the desktop. So I'm click on paste and this is the image on my desktop. So once you open the image, you can edit and create this photo. For example, let's click on edit and now we can adjust the margins and we can also apply some filters, for example, a black and white filter. If you like this filter, all you have to do is click on save a copy. And now save the image with another name, for example, black and white. As you see here at my left, we have the two pictures, the original one and the black and white one. Okay, so this is the first method to import photos from your cell phone to the computer. The next method to import photos and videos from your cell phone is, once again, connecting a USB cable into your computer and to your phone and just look for your phone, in my case it's Moto E7, and right click on it and then choose import pictures and videos. Well, now all you have to do is wait for the program to complete the process. Okay, once the process is complete, you can choose whether to review, organize and group items to import or import all new items now. So I'm gonna click on review, organize and group items to import and click on next. So once you are here, you can select the images you want to import. So I'm gonna click here on this one you all 26 items and just choose the first one. Click on import. You can also choose whether to erase or not after importing. And now the process is complete. So as you see, the picture is now on the computer. And there's an image of a concert that I went last week. The last method I'm going to show you is using Google Photos. To use Google Photos, you have to download the app first in your phone. I'm going to do that in my phone for you to see. Let's go to the Play Store. Now we have to search for Google Photos. And this is the one. I have it installed already, but here is where you can download the app. So once you download the app, you just have to go to Google Photos website. So type in photos.google.com and these are all my photos. So I'm just gonna select the first one from a port near my house. And you can also edit the pictures here in Google Photos. For example, correcting the light and if you click, you'll see the difference. Okay, so if you want to keep the changes, you have to click on save. 
and then you can download this image to your computer with these three dots at the top right corner and click on download. You can also choose where to save this picture. I'm gonna select the desktop again and click on save. And now we have the photo in our computer. The good thing about using Google Photos is that all the photos are saved automatically into your account, so you don't need to save them in your computer. But if you want to, you can do it. And that was all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to keep watching and learning from our videos, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.